Hi guys, so in this video here you're going to see everything that I bought hopefully for a 30 day period. I didn't really plan it out, but we're eating one meal a day. It's going to be me and my husband eating one meal a day. And I'm going to see how this goes. I can say that basically I have been nibbling here and there and I've figured out like a few of the things that I can eat. Just very basic foods. Uh, some of the stuff is not so good for me, so I wanted to get rid of that and just focus on the stuff that is actually beneficial to me. And I have a cat. So here is me shopping and getting groceries, and this will be my first grocery haul for the 30 days. Hey. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know what that one, okay. That's why I always open them and go one by one. Yeah, they're These are broken. I've never seen these broken. This? So we do two. Two more Okay, so we weren't able to go to Aldi's because it is raining, so we just went to Walmart, and I believe the bill was $150, somewhere around there, I believe. I'll have to look in, the, in my purse. I was going to show you when I get out, but I forgot. So anyway, we did get two splurges since we're eating one meal a day. Um, we got this. It's a smoked salmon. So it's four ounce each package, and he's probably going to eat like half a package. I don't eat this, so this is like strictly for Hadar. It's like his splurge. My splurge is the organic cage-free eggs, and this is for like when we have uh, boiled eggs and fried eggs, or we have like a frittata, and I fry it up, I want to have like nice eggs. I also got generic eggs. These are $4.75 for 60 eggs, and a bunch of cream cheese, two to a pack, and this is going to make my keto waffles, and I'm going to sit in here and make them. It's going to take me all day long, and then I'm going to freeze them, and that's going to be like a lot of our, it's going to be part of a lot of our meals. I got some bacon and some nice Kerrygold butter. Um, I think we have a few steaks out in the freezer. If we don't, we'll have to buy some because I want some steak cooked in some nice butter. Got some dark sweet cherries, some red raspberries, this Faye. 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 5%. I'm not sure if that's, uh, it's, he says it's nice and thick. I'm not sure if it's actual Greek yogurt or not. It doesn't say it is, but it's nice and thick and he likes that one. And it's plain, no sugar, nothing to it. We got 4% cottage. In Israel, the highest that they have is 5%. And they actually have 9 Oh, they have nine? Yeah, it's the green kind. You're used to the blue kind. Oh, I don't think I ever got that. There's the light blue for one, three. Yeah. There's <laughs> there's regular blue regular blue five that everybody gets, and then there's nine, the yeah, fatty one. I get the five when I'm in Israel, and it's really, really good. But the highest they go here, it looks like it's four. 
It's um, also five times as big. Yeah. You the cottage there a, is just a cup. A little, a little, it's like literally one cup tubs. Um, we got the whole milk, lactose free. I got two of these and I got two of these half and half. So it's half milk, half cream. And I'm gonna use those for our milkshake smoothies. That's what the fruit is for. We're having berry smoothies. Uh, I didn't get spinach or kale, but berry smoothies with the greens in it. Got some mini cucumbers, gonna try these out because the other ones that I get from Aldi's go slimy. Now I have a few of these in the fridge still, and so far they are not slimy. And we got sliced cheese, did you know that this is 24 cents an ounce and the tw for 12 slices, but the t uh, 24 slices is 26 cents an ounce. It costs so more to, to get the bigger package. It costs more to get bigger. In uh, Walmart. So. And you're taught your entire life that it's backwards. Yes, it's not supposed to be that way, but it is for several things in Walmart. So you have to look. I'm showing Raphael how to shop now with like... Look at the ounces, see how much it is per ounce, or see how much it is per package, just like the eggs. These eggs were like 20 cents more per dozen, so it didn't make any sense to get 18. Um, I had already have these avocados, they're ready to go. We're probably gonna have some avocado, uh, something for our meal today. And I have, whoop, I've got some floor lettuce, butter lettuce. Thank you. I love this one. They, these are so good. Um, I used to buy the hyd hydroponic lettuce. They don't have that in the two colors there for some reason. And I still have this. This is my very, very, very big splurge. It's sugar-free, but it's most likely not keto, and it's most likely not healthy. But... So, it is only 20 calories, so it helps you out. Eh. The taste is what helps me out. I must have it. It's so good. I uh, got some huge mozzarella. And this is going to go for, like, all of the really quick um, waffles that are like bread sandwiches. Uh, they're crispy, so I'm going to make that with the eggs. And that's all that we got, but that should be... I mean, one meal a day. That should be good for a couple weeks, right? For us. The kids are still eating for normal. For us, yeah. So I wanted to mention the kids are still eating normal, and I do want them eating balanced foods. Some junk food, um, as well as breads, and just, like, not getting rid of any of the food groups at all. And still eating balanced. So there, nothing changed about how they're going to eat. We're going to eat together our one meal, but they're also going to eat two meals and some snacks. So nothing has changed about how they're eating. I still want them to eat balanced food and learn like what good healthy food is and not, not have any like big restrictions. Just be moderate on what they're eating. Like if they're going to eat junk food, we're going to moderate that. So yeah. So a big part of the meal. We also didn't get any lemon juice, but I have lemon juice in a bottle, which will be good enough for right now. I wanted to get lemons. So in the morning, when we wake up, we're going to have like hot lemon water with tea, and we're going to have green tea throughout the day, and it's going to be really good to rev up our, our fat burning metabolism. Yes. So it's going to be revving up our metabolism. We're also going to be taking probiotic. So I'm just going to try to fix my stomach issues and uh, eat 30 days of no foods that make me feel sick. So hopefully this will be a good reset for me and I can get like 10 pounds off. That My goal is 10 pounds. Hadar probably has his own goals for the month, but my goal is 10 pounds. And to take the dog out every morning and walk around the school so we'll see about that so this is our food for right now and the kids are wanting to eat a burrito so i'm thinking maybe we'll have burrito bowls later okay so i just wanted to show you what we have right now that's already in here we got some cubes definitely highly recommend these from aldi they're a dollar 55 there it doesn't seem like a very big bag 
but there is a large amount of cubes in this and it's very filling. So we're also going to be eating some halloumi. I'm going to fry that up. We've got some prosciutto. I don't eat these things. This, this is going to be like a, a thing for Hadar for part of his breakfast meal. I already got one of these in here. This one was from Aldi. Okay, and I found some cucumbers. I believe I got these. Where did I get these? I don't know. I don't know. I got some cucumbers though. I got some peppers. I got some guava in here. These are for the kids though. Some cabbage. And my mom gave us a bunch of hot peppers. So those are going to go in our eggs. And here's our lemon juice. Hadar already has this. And we've still got a bunch of eggs, but I need to make those waffles. Need to use these up because these are going bad. And, oh, these are different. These are Sunset Organic. I didn't get the organic ones this time. But these are not slimy yet, and I've used half a bag. And we've got tomatoes in here. And we got some feta and some olives, all that stuff we can use and some more cottage. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out last week's video and my other channels, Fully Living, Fully Cooked, and Fully Fun. Have a great day.